All right, we're here at CNN Philippines. Uh, Yank Barry's going to get interviewed, live interview for 30 minutes. She speaks she will be here for the pre interview later. Okay. For the proper She'll be there in 15 minutes. Okay. Thank you. The following. Yeah. How many times have I know you were here for Thriller? That was your first time for Thriller. They asked if what's the name of your organization, we didn't have one. So I thought really quickly, I went, and Lee was standing right next to me, I said, uh, Global Village, and he went, Champions. <laughs> and that's, that's, how it, that's how it started. I wasn't. Very good. Yeah, to, to, I was more on here than I was with you today. <laughs> the juices are going more, you know. But. Bye, CNN. We just arrived the Marriott Hotel in Manila, Philippines, checking in. Yeah, do you know the journey band? I will go to that concert journey. All the morning. Okay. You want to be the IRO? This is the first day here at the uh, Marriott Hotel where I'll be documenting Yank Berry doing the uh, Journey concert. Journey in the Philippines. Just finished the concert of Arnel Pineda, Journey in the Philippines. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do an interview with Yank Berry and the manager of Arnel Pineda, Renee Walter. I'm ready to go. So we're heading to Yank Berry's place. What's the dude that was with that night? <laughs> and, uh, oh man, he goes, what's the matter? I can't believe I just did that. What I'm going to be doing is doing a little documentary on giving. Yank Berry, a humanitarian philanthropist, will be donating 2 million meals to the earthquake victims. All right, so I just checked out. I'm gonna start my journey to feed two million peoples for the victims of Surigao in the Philippines. The two small ones. Heading out to get pesos so I can turn the dollars that was given to me by the chairman, Yank Berry, to pesos to buy the meals. So we're getting the Global Village t-shirts made for the crew or volunteer that will be feeding the hungry. <coughs> kind enough to give us a discount because we'll be feeding the needy. <laughs> okay, we got the Global Village shirts. Checking out. We're taking a trike to the uh, bus terminal. This All right, so I just arrived here at Harbor Point in Subic Bay. I'm meeting a friend here who's going to help me do the feeding. Okay, so what are we going to do? How do we get to Surigao? Well, to get to Surigao, what you would need to do first is you could go from Clark to Cebu. Now I'm going to go check prices for uh, flights to go to Surigao. God, I was just trying to decide here. I think the, probably the best thing to do would be Manila. Manila to Cebu. Yeah, Cebu to Bohol is a tourism route. That's a yes, little expensive. Yes. And the yes. big, these are big freighter ships. So we're surveying the best prices for rice so I can get more rice to feed more people for Global Village Champions Foundation. 150 for 25 kilos? 125. Waiting in the 
airport for five hours. Smoking in the fashion. I want to be able to uh, feed the mm -hmm. victims of the Surugao earthquake. Okay. Getting ready to do a feeding for Global Village Champions. Okay, so I'm going to the market with the assistant pastor so we can feed these hungry kids. I'm staying at a hotel victimized by the earthquake. Check it out. So I'm here with some volunteers of the Global Village Champions. There's Jojo who will be helping out in bringing up the rice. There's our driver. His name is Chris. Hi. Dodong Pilas. Dodong. Dodong Pilas. Girsham, my camera guy. There's Girsham. This one Hello. here is Alvin. 
So they're my Global Village champion production crew and at the same time helping me distribute these sacks of rice. And we're going to give and distribute all over the barangays here in Surigao City. Meals, meals, meals. We're going to give meals, meals, meals to the needy. Okay, so we're going to DSWD to get support so I know to find out where we're going to give the rice to. So the sponsorship money is going directly to people in need. is one of those children because they someone helped them that they want to help others when they grow up. Ah, uh, global village. Oh, magagamit ko ang This is if you want to. Thank you again, Yank, for the support of helping the needy. Okay, we're here at the place where the bridge actually fell during the Surigao earthquake. Today was a day without hunger. Thanks to Global Village Champion, to Yank Ferry, to be able to give this opportunity for these young kids to enjoy a day of being fed. We saw the devastation, witnessed it. So now we're going to be traveling to another location. That's the latest news. It's kind of bumpy here. We're driving behind a truck. Check it out. So we're going through this map to find out where all the barangays are, where all the needy uh, victims, so we can deliver rice, meals, meals, meals. Buying sardines, all of it, to make meals to help the needy. So today I got a new driver. I also rented another Jeep because we didn't have enough room for the first Jeep to bring in all the, the rice. And so now I'm going to be loaded again today. I'm going to fill these two with rice. We're going to go buy called, uh, some place called NFA and we're going to distribute to the barangays that are the needy. I found a church group that knew a place that needed 
and we're victims of the earthquake, so that's what we're going to be giving to. It's all about making a difference in people's lives. We're here at the NFA and we're gonna buy some rice, negotiate some some deals. Bernie. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I wanna buy a whole bunch of rice. I'll pay cash, but if you can uh, give us a bigger discount so I can buy more. I'm sorry, sir, we can't give you any discount. Okay. We're from the government, so we can't. Oh, you can't if you can. Okay, that's fine, so I'll buy. Whatever we can fill this, and I can come back tomorrow and the following day, and I'm gonna keep Global serving this. Yeah. We can make a big difference in people's lives. I just want to be able to serve meals, meals, meals to the to the needy. So you'll help me do that. Yes, sir. Look at this massive load of rice. We're gonna do it personally distribute these loads of rice to a lot of different communities now I have more help I found help here church groups missionaries to be able to help me to feed and give meals to the needy that's the quality good quality rice good quality Okay, so you're the you're the manager. I want to thank you for giving me the, the rice to be able to distribute to all the communities here in uh, Surigao, right? Okay, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, take my hand. We're buying truckloads of rice every day. My job is to make sure all this rice sacks are going to go to the right people. The fun thing about this job is you get to see a lot of kids' happy faces because they're no longer hungry. So here's one location. Hello. Hi. Hi, Maayo. So this is the pastor from this barangay. What's the name of this barangay? Pipang Village. Pipang Village. And they also got affected by the Surigao earthquake, right? Thank you for that. For that. You gave this church. And it's a church? And so we're in good hands and it's going to go to the right people. I'll be leaving uh, sacks of life uh, for other people to distribute. They don't, they don't have any plates because they all fell because of the earthquake. Oh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. God bless you. Yes, God bless. yes. So I finally found a warehouse here in Surigao that can give me a wholesale price on the rice. So I can buy more rice to be able to feed more people and make a difference in their lives. And this is how we're doing it. So we came up with an idea to feed another barangay is we're going to send a few sacks of rice that's going to go into a tricycle. These sacks of rice. So she's, you'll be in charge of making sure it's going to go to the people that really need the, the rice. Yes. Okay, so that's what they're going to do. Yeah. All right, quite an exercise for me, but it was doing a good deed. Yeah, we accomplished it. Okay. I'm going to different barangays. I did. I've spent 300 already in Subic, in Manila. We'll do probably another 200 in different places. Whichever if they tell me you can get 500 to, to feed, then I'll pay for the 500.
this is a good opportunity to be able to help God's children and people in need. The organization is called the Global Village Champions, this one. We'll be feeding about 1,000 meals today and be distributing rice all over the barangays here in Surugao for the victims of the earthquake. <laughs> Yank Berry, the Global Village Champions Foundation, wants to be able to supply and make a difference in people's lives. In order for you, youngsters, for you, he's doing good for the world, and we expect in return for you to also do good. As you get older, as you know, to other people, don't do drugs, don't do alcohol, be good, pray to God, and be grateful for everything that you have in life so more blessings can come. It's like what God wants us to do, just do good to others and help those in need. Like what Yankberry Global Village Foundation is helping those in need, and that's why he's supplying, giving you blessings for being here. All right, so we're picking up uh, some people from the church who's going to help us volunteer to do this donation. And somewhere out in the mountains, and I don't know how to get there. Uh, we've got a new volunteer over here for Global Village Champions. She's yeah. part of a church. So as a leader, you know that the rice that I'll be donating to you will go to the right people, right? Yes, sir. It's, it's a privilege for us to help that this kind of uh, giving. And thank you for, for coming with us, okay. for Good. coming in our church. Okay. Thank you uh, to the Barry. Young Barry and the Global Village uh, Champion Foundation for this uh, kind of that you shown to the world and I hope that many more people, families um, will be reached out because of your kindness, because of this organization. We're going to go buy more rice and fill this up so we can go to the barangay. The... Kinalablaban. Kinalablaban. I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> it. I need to buy some rice. I'm going to buy some sardines to add to the meals that we'll be giving away. I really don't know how far this place is or what's going to happen. But we got a mission to do, so we're going to continue to do it. So this is really a long journey. So we've got to keep on going. All right, ready to go. Okay, so we finally made it here. It took us two hours to get here, so that's why it's very dark. Um, some of the, our drivers got scared coming here, but I knew we had to come here so we can provide for Pastor over here. Pastor, what is your name? Amy Bulya. Amy Bulya. She takes care of the, the children and the people in this barangay. Yeah, so because of the mining, they stopped it. A lot of people don't have work here, and so they really need help. And that's why we came here, Global Village Champions and Yankberry's team, and hopefully we can do more. Um, we supply them with more rice, and then they can continue the feeding until um, people get back on their feet. So we made a difference, and that's what we all have to do in this life, is make a difference in people's lives. And I'm happy we were able to do it for this barangay, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Le, I'm sorry I'm a little um, overwhelmed here, but yeah. That's all our purpose, right? Is to help people. Yes. It's our joy to help um, people like this who are really in need. And we're so glad that um, somehow God used us to be a blessing for their, for their life. And thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Um, so that was our journey for today with the help of the Global Village Champions Foundation um, charity group. Uh, Yankberry for letting us help these people who are in dire need.
Father. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Lord, your amazing love. Lord, salamat kayo ngayon mong mingi. My room seems to get smaller and smaller. So I'm trying to save money so I can buy more rice and feed more people. I've decided I'm going to go to Butuan to do a feeding over there. And the team over here, the Global Village Champion um, volunteers, are going to stay here to continue the feed. Eli. Eli. Arwin. 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 Okay, they're going to be helping me distribute while I'm gone. All right, we're here with uh, a missionary that we'll be donating meals to. Yeah. And you told me that because of the Surigao earthquake, a lot of the families don't have water, right? Yeah, that's after, yeah. yeah. Three, uh, days, that's four three days, days after four days. Yeah, some of them weren't even eating because there was no source of food. Yeah, so uh, thank you Global Village Champion Foundation and Yang, Yang Barry for, for sharing your blessing to the Surigao people to make the world uh, a better place. Me myself is very thankful for your your love and generosity. We will make sure that it will be distributed to the needy people there in our area. Pesos. Ah. sila naka-stay din dahil ano pa rito malalim pa yung mga gamit ko na, na hindi to pa ano kaya minsan na ano marami dito mga anong tawag sa tagalog daga saka ano biya mayroon din dito pumasok na ahas dalaw dalawa pero hindi kasi yung laki sa tamtaman lang dito pumasok dahil dito pumasok yung tubig pumasok din sa kwarto Namin. Pati mga daga nakikilisan oh, rin. Oh. Dito nga. Yan, sa lindol yan. Ang kulungan ng baboy. Wasak yan. Junmar Lasang. Uh, ilan taong ka na rito nakatira? Ano, uh, mula nang nagkapamilya ko, 1999 oh. hanggang ngayon, dito na. Okay. Ilan na yung anak mo? Apat. Apat, nandun doon sila ngayon oh, sa... Oo, nandun sila dahil hindi sila makapamalagi dito dahil ano yung, yung amoy ng tubig. Nakasakit. Tsaka, tsaka mataas, marumi, oh, mataas marumi pa yung tubig. Kasi pa yung mga anak ko, baka mahulog. Oh. Hindi ma, ano, hindi ma, makita ng asawa ko, baka mahulog. Hmm. Kahit dyan na ulit. Hmm. Kaya yun. Ako lang dito, kung gabi, matulog doon sa, ano, sa vacation. Pero pag umaga, lagi ko itong... Binabanda yung bahay ko dahil baka mayroong ahas naman na makakakit. Ito nga o, oh, di ko pa nga nalinisan to. Dahil, ba, dahil ano yung abot-abot yung ulan. Uma eh. Umakit yung tubig oh. din dito. Tumataas. Oh. Pag high tide, low oh. tide. Ito nga dito. Pasok ang mga dumi dito. Eh. Ano, mayroon pa mga dumi. Hindi ko pa nalinisan. Dahil sa taas ng tubig. Oh. Yes, madam. Oh, isang baby. Bagong kapanganak lang yan. Meron pa doon. May mga bata sila. Hindi, doon sa karag. Oh, dito yung nagto-brushing uh -huh. sa hapon. Oh, dito yun, nakalinya sila dyan. Saan yung iba mo, saan yung iba nyo anak ni ano? Ay, ah, tulog yung isa. Uh -huh.
dahil sa sa dahil sa yung pagbaha uh, sa baha, sa lake sa, sa lake tapos yung mga tubig dito sa bandang bukid papunta din sa naman kasi sa lake oh, so dahil sa walang tigil na pagulan oh, ah. syempre yung tubig sa iba Pintulang <tuk> We would like to say thank you to Global Village Champions Foundation and Young Bari. Thank you very much! So goodbye Surigao, going to Butuan to do another feeding. I gotta go to the airport. I'm all packed again, ready to move on to go buy some, to go to the grocery stores and buy some food for the homeless kids living here in Butuan. So these children, they don't eat every day, right? Uh, they just eat by begging. Sometimes uh, people will give them uh, a small piece of bread. And we go to the street and minister to these children without any salary, without any money. What we have is our faith that once we serve, God will provide. We just want to give out meals and meals and meals to inspire the world, to inspire young kids to become better human beings. What are you, I feel like an elf working for Santa and giving out presents, but here I'm feeding the hungry. Thank you, Global Village Champions, Yank Berry, because they're Santa Claus. Hello. We're picking bargain prices for the street children, because we're gonna be also not just feeding them, but clothing them. We had to find uh, dark colors, that way they'll be able to utilize it. They, look, they don't look so dirty all the time. We're going to make a lot of people happy today. Food and clothes. I'm here with the pastor. We're going to be feeding the homeless kids here that lives in this park. So pastor, tell me what happens over here. What, what, how did you find these kids? And uh, uh, I call them street children. They are the least, the last, and the lost. And they live here. They hang out here. They what? do not home. They do not have food. They do not have families. These are the guards. All right. And they allow us to use... Uh, to use us to help these, yeah. these homeless children. They help so, let's, us. so let's go see them. Yeah.
God sent us an angel uh, who provided us food and encouragement for these children. Abrihan na yun ninyo, Abrihan, may plus Now these kids are after they after we feed them they really don't have a place to stay or a place to live. Happy they can sleep tonight? Happy full because of the delicious food. I get so emotional doing this. I didn't think this was so tough, but you know I have my heart goes out to these kids. We would like to thank uh, Global Village champions. We want to thank you for your generosity, for your love, for your concern. Young Barry, I thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing your uh, resources, your time, everything for your love for the street children of Butuan. I, I hope they get blessed. I hope one of these kids will have made a difference in their life and we were able to change their their way of thinking and they don't have to steal nor do they have to go into alcohol or prostitution that most of them end up doing let's continue to make a difference in people's lives thank you yank Berry. thank you global village champions for letting me do this This is one of the buildings here in Surugao that got affected by the earthquake. So we're going to be looking for helping people here. I'm here, the mission here is to help the needy people that need meals. This is where they had the earthquakes and it destroyed a lot of buildings. So a lot of people were victimized and we're here to help those people who got victimized and help those who are just in need. 